Same time, a judge's ruling late today means more delays for construction of Nashville's proposed soccer stadium. The judge ruled the lawsuit from the group Save Our Fairgrounds will go to trial as she declined Metro's request to dismiss the case. News 4's Nancy Amons tells us what it means. The judge refused to dismiss the lawsuit the group Save Our Fairgrounds filed. The group says there isn't enough room for a soccer stadium and 10 acres of private development. They would crowd out the state fair and other uses that are there now like the racetrack and parking for the flea market. Metro's lawyers say there is room for everything, but Judge Ellen Hobbs Lyle ruled those are issues that should be heard at trial. She set the case for trial in May or June. That means construction of the MLS stadium is likely to get pushed back even further because Mayor John Cooper has said that Metro won't go forward with the project with a pending lawsuit. He's been under heavy pressure this week from team owner John Ingram. Ingram writing the mayor that he's invested millions of dollars in this project. Last night, MLS supporters packed the city council meeting. Now, the soccer team, Nashville SC, is playing its inaugural season at Nissan Stadium. They had originally hoped to be at the fairgrounds in 2021. Then they pushed the date to 2022. It's a huge construction project, so can it be ready if it doesn't break ground until later this year? Well, a spokesperson for the team just sent me a statement saying they're not a party to the suit and they can't speculate. No reaction yet either from the mayor or Save Our Fairgrounds. Nancy Amons, News 4.